Let's start with the ladies' draw. We're going to go through it in detail because uh, it has come out. And there are some really crazy first-round matches. But let's have a look at the players that are not going to play at Wimbledon this year. There's only two players that are not playing at this stage with Kvitova pulling out. Of course, playing, not playing for the whole year because she's having a baby. And same with Bencic, who just had a baby. So both those players will not be playing at Wimbledon this year. Top of the draw, we've got 32 seeds in this one. Of course, in a slam, there's no buys in the first round. Starting with Sviontek. She'll take on Kennan in the first round. Remember, Kennan last year took out Goff in the first round. So that is a terrible start for Sviontek. That's such a tough first round. Uh, winner of that match will take on either Jones or Mardic in the second round. Then you've got Putin Seven taking on Kerber, two very capable grass court players. Winner of that will take on either the qualifier, Stakuzic, or Siniakova, the 27th seed, in the second round. Then you've got Garcia, the 23rd seed, takes on Blinkover in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Pera or Potapova in the second round. Then you've got Dodden taking on the qualifier, Schnahor. Winner of that will take on either Tomanovic or the number 13 seed, Ostapenko. And of course, those two at this tournament have had some beef. So that is going to be a fiery first round match between those two who. Who, no, no, they're not friends. They are not friends. A uh, very interesting section here. Of course, such dangerous players on grass for Sviontek. Uh, you've got to watch out for Iga, though, of course, being the number one in the world and number one seed. Got to watch out for Panko, one of the players that only uh, can beat Sviontek consistently. In fact, I don't think she's ever lost to Sviontek. Also, watch out for Siniakova. Very capable on the grass. And then, of course, the unseeded players. You've got to watch out for Cannon. You've got to watch out for Putin Seba. You've got to watch out for Kerber as well. And also be watching out for Tomanovic, who played really well a couple weeks ago on the grass. So, this section here, there are a lot of dangerous players for Sviontek to get through. Next part of the draw, you've got the number 11 seed, Collins. She'll take on Towson in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Sharif or Gelfi, the qualifier, in the second round. Then you've got Osorio taking on Davis. Winner of that will take on either Frey or the number 20 seed, Hadaj Maya, in the second round. Then you've got the 31st seed, Krajikova, taking on Kudamatova. Very fun first round. Winner of that will take on either Kale or the qualifier, Volley Nets, in the second round. Then you've got Buxha taking on Bogdan. Winner of that will take on Monero or Von Drusova, the defending champion, and number 6 seed in that second round. So, interesting section, especially with some injury concerns for, for Vondi. It's going to be a really fun section, this one. It could be, you know, maybe a new player comes out of this section. Of course, you've got to watch out for Von Drusova, the defending champion. Got to watch out for Collins in her final Wimbledon of her uh, of her career. Also, watch out for Krujikova as well, because, of course, you know, when she's on, she can beat a lot of players. All right, next section of the draw, you've got Rebecca in the number four seed, taking on the qualifier, Ruse. Winner of that will take on either Sigamund or Bandel in the second round. Then you've got Wozniacki taking on the qualifier, Parks. Winner of that will take on either Bronzetti or the 30th seed, Fernandez, in the second round. Then you've got the 17th seed, Kalinskaya. She'll take on a qualifier. Udvardi in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Buzkova or Riera in the second round. Then you've got Kalanina taking on Avanesian. Winner of that will take on either Masarova, the number 15 seed Samsonova in the second round. Not a bad draw for Rabakina. Of course, there are dangerous players there, but for the most part, she should be able to play herself into those tougher matches and slowly build as the tournament goes on instead of having a terrible first round like other players have got. Of course, you've got to watch out for Rabakina in this section. You've got to watch out for Samsonova and you've got to watch out for Kalinskaya. All very capable on grass and Fernandez as well, to be honest, because she's been really good this week on the grass as well. So all the seeds here are grass court capable. Next section of the draw, you've got the number 10 seed, Jabir. She'll take on Uchijima in the first round. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier uh, a qualifier in the second round because you've got Montgomery taking on Kadeki, who are both qualifiers. Then you've got Golubic taking on Niemeyer. Winner of that will take on either Lynette, the 21st seed, Svitolina, in the second round. Then you've got the 32nd seed, Bolter, taking on Maria. Winner of that will take on either Dart or Bai, the qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Wong taking on Tomova. Winner of that will take on either Kruger, the number 5 seed, Pagula, in the second round. Very interesting draw. Pagula, of course, been informed. Jabir last year's finalist. Svitolina made the semis last year, and also Bolt has been in good form. So you got to watch out for Pagula. Got to watch out for Jabir. You've got to watch out for Bolter, fan favorite, one of the fan favorites here, of course. And you got to watch out for Svetlina, who's been in form on grass in her career. Uh, other than that, though, I mean, there's not too many players. I don't think are the unseated players to watch out for. Of course, this section will take on the Sviantek section. So we could be getting Sviantek Rabakina in the semis. It's going to be very tough to see that happen because there's a lot of players in the way. But that could be a semi-final. Maybe you want to go with Sviantek Pagula. If you want to go with something a little different, maybe Sviantek Jabir. Uh, if you want to go with something different there. But if you don't think Triantic's going to make it, maybe you get Rabakina taking on Von Drusova. Maybe Rabakina taking on Collins. Maybe Rabakina or Ostapenko, if Penko can come good. Or if you want to change it up again, maybe go with Pagula instead of Rabakina. Maybe Pagula takes on Collins or Pagula Von Drusova, like the epic we saw last year, or Jabir Von Drusova if you want to go something rematch of last year's final. But man, it is going to be really interesting to see who comes out of this top half of the draw because this top half is stacked. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got Jung, the number 8 seed, taking on the qualifier Sun. Winner of that will take on either Van Utbank or the qualifier Staro Dabseva. First try. Nailed it. Uh, then you got Bagu taking on Ju. Winner of that will take on either Townsend or the number 25 seed Pavlyuchenkova in the second round. Then you've got one of the best first rounds going around. 22nd seed Alexandrova taking on Rodokanu. Very, very fun first round match. Very dangerous for Rodokanu, but very, very fun. A uh, winner of that will take on either Habino or Mertens in the second round. Then you got Rus taking on Yuan. Winner of that will take on either Kessler or the number 9 seed Zachary in the second round. This is such an open section, you know, because the big names are not really proven on grass and also, you know, haven't been in good form lately. Big seeds, I'm saying. 
Bank. And then some of the unseeded players have been in form. So this could be a really, this could be the most open section. You've got to watch out for Zhang, of course. You've got to watch out for Sakri, even though both of them, mainly Sakri, has not done well lately on the Grand Slam scene. Uh, I'll definitely be watching out for Alexandrova as well. Very capable on grass. And if she doesn't double fault, she could make it far. And then you've got to watch out for Rodikanu. You know, very, very dangerous the last couple of weeks. Has been really good on the grass. If she can get through that first round, maybe she can go far. Next section of the draw, you've got the number 14 seed, Kazakina. She'll take on Zhang in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Core Patch or Miyazaki, the wild card in the second round. Then you've got Bedosa taking on Mukova. What a first round that is. Winner of that will take on either Brenda Fruvitova or the 24th seed on Draver in the second round. And you've got the 28th seed, Yastremska taking on Podoroska. Winner of that will take on Sharenko or Gracheva in the second round. Then you've got Vekic taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on either Bektis or the number three seed, Sabalenka, in the second round. And Sabalenka has got to like the draw. I mean, there is maybe one or two players in this draw, Sabalenka, that is dangerous. But like I just said with the other part of the draw, part the, the, the other section of the draw, which has got players that these players will play in the quarterfinals, it's very open up there. Sabalenka is the clear clear favorite here. You've got to watch out for Sabalenka in this section. Also got to watch out for Kazakina. Played really well on grass this week. You've got to be watching out for players like Mukova. Also, someone like a Bedosa and also Vekic. Vekic does have a good record over Sabalenka. So the biggest threat in this section of the draw could be Vekic. Uh, so watch out for that in the second round against Sabalenka potentially. But bottom half of the draw, the bottom section of the draw now, we've got the number seven seed, Palini. She'll take on Tormo in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Minin or Watson in the second round. Then you've got Andrescu take it on Christian. Winner of that will take on either Arani or the number 26 seed, Noskova in the second round. Then you've got the 18th seed, Kostyuk. She'll take on Shramkova in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Savile or Stearns in the second round. Then you've got Schmidlova taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on either Trevison or the number 12 seed, Keys in the second round. I don't know about you guys, but I think Keys could be a dark horse here. I mean, she's she's got a nice draw. There's not too many massive, scary opponents, especially with Keys' game on grass and proven game, you know, being a big hitter. I, I think she will like her chances in this section. Of course, you've got to watch out for Pellini. Has been coming good on the grass this week and also riding high from the French Open final. Got to watch out for Keys. Very, very dangerous on this surface. Also, watch out for Noskova. Her game might be able to translate onto the grass, being a big hitter and a big server. But also be watching out for Andrescu. Did really well on the grass last week and seems to be getting more comfortable on the surface. So if you've got to pick someone who's unseated in this section, maybe it is Andrescu's chance to do something. And then the last section of the draw, you've got number 16 seed Azarenka taking on Stevens in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Pliskova or Schneider in the second round. Then you've got Nemo Osaka versus Parry. Very interesting first round. Winner of that will take on either Wong or the number 19 seed Navarro in the second round. Then you've got the 29 seed Castella taking on the qualifier Cartel. Winner of that will take on either Lise, the qualifier, or Burrell in the second round. Then you've got Cochiaretto taking on the qualifier Tadoni. Winner of that will take on either Dollarhide or the number two seed Goff in the second round. And much like Sabalenka's section, I think Goff would like her chances here. You know, a lot of qualifiers in this section. I think she'll be able to get through a lot of these players. I mean, obviously, there are some players in the fourth rounds and potentially quarterfinals. It could be awkward, but I think Goff's, Goff's got a nice draw. It could be worse. I mean, we've seen what could be worse with uh, the Shviontek section. So I think Goff has got to like a chance. Of course, you've got to watch out for Goff in this section. You've got to watch out for Azarenka as well. Uh, also, watch out for Navarro. She uh, has been doing okay on the uh, on the, on the the grass this week. Uh, but also, you've got to watch out for Osaka. as the dangerous unseated player. Osaka is it. Also, I would put Pliskova in there as well as, a, as maybe a dangerous unseated player. Of course, this section will take on the Sabalenka section. So the big names could be Goff taking on Sabalenka in the semis. And that kind of feels like it kind of feels likely at this stage because both have good draws unless there's, you know, an upset in the in the fourth or, or quarterfinals. Uh, you could go Goff taking on uh, Zhang if you want to change it up a little bit. Or maybe if you want to go the other way with Sabalenka maybe playing against Keys. That could be likely in a semifinal. Maybe Sabalenka taking on Pellini if, if Pellini can convert onto the grass in this uh, in this tournament. But man, very interesting draw. And uh, it's much harder to find who's going to get out of the top half of the draw than the bottom half. The bottom half, it just feels like maybe five players making it to the, you know, semifinals in the final. Top half of the draw, I mean, how is Fionta going to manage all that? Plus, Rabakin has got a, a pretty interesting draw after the first couple of days as well. So it feels like the bottom half of the draw is where you want to be and uh, where if you're, if you're good on grass, that's where you want to be. Sabalenka and Goff, obviously, uh, getting the benefit of that. Let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this later, who is going to win Wimbledon? It feels like Sabalenka, if her shoulder's okay, should make at least the semis. Maybe even make the final. And then, obviously, Fionta, Rabakin, how far can they go? Depends on how their opponents play on the day because they've got some really tricky opponents early. But there it is, Wimbledon 2024 for the ladies' draw. And it is very top-heavy.